We're live. Hi, we're the part of the music crew at Waka Middle School, and we're just going to tell you a little bit about what you might need to know, some of the things we think you might need to know that we would typically say in a parent night. So it's nice to meet you. My name's David Jones. I teach orchestra at Middle Waka Middle School. I also have the eighth grade band this year. Um, taking over for Mr. Kanegi, who um, schedules change, so I get to teach his band. So, uh, my name is Mr. Kanegi. I teach uh, seventh and sixth grade bands, and I'll be working with Mr. Jones to collaborate with our eighth grade students. He's also the Bellingham High School uh, uh, band teacher as well, and I have a student teacher this year. Hi, my name is Kaylin Arnold, and I have student teaching with Mr. Jones this year. So um, half of my assignment is Wacom, and then the other half is a bunch of middle or elementary schools teaching strings there too. Um, so the classes that we teach in orchestra, we have violin, viola, cello, and bass, and we have three levels: there's sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. Of course, if your student, if you're already reading this, your student's already in it. But um, the practice expectations that we have, I'm asking students to practice once in between each session. Five minutes even counts if you can get one practice session in. Um, some goals that we might have is playing in concerts, because we get to play in concerts this year. So the big goal is to learn that piece to the best of your ability. You don't have to be able to play every note perfectly, but you do need to make growth every time that we play the song together, and a little bit at home too, please. A typical learning day is we get right to our instruments, tune our instruments. Aiden we, Bartlett, if you're in the building, please come to the office. Aiden Bartlett, if you're in the building, please come to the office. We tune our instruments, we do some warm-ups, and we work on skills that we do a million times over and over again. And we get to the pieces then, and we work on the pieces. Um, I have two rules in my room. We know how, we know when. And if you don't know those, if you're not sure about how to do something or when to do something, I just remind you about it. And usually that's all that it takes is one quick reminder. But of course, if we need to talk to parents or teachers about it, there's other ways to help support your learning. Um, our uh, concert that we have coming up is December 7th for orchestra, our very first concert. And I think I'm going to be able to squeeze in the eighth grade band too. Depends on what we can get ready. Um, dress for orchestra is all black, um, the nicest black you have. Uh, black shoes if you've got some, black socks if you've got some, black pants or skirts, dresses, black tops, the nicest that you can find. And um, uh, remember that we're up on the stage, so skirts should be definitely at least knee length or longer because we're up on the stage a lot of the time. Um, and some orchestra questions people ask about if you play the bass, I don't. I can't practice bass at home. I can't travel the bass on the on the bus. Of course, we've got some practice times that we'll announce, so you can come in and practice. And band kids will be welcome too, if they need to come in and practice their big instruments at school. Um, cellos can't transport on the bus. You probably already know that. I want you to remember that we have a growth mindset where you're going to not be able to play the song at first, but that doesn't mean that you should give up. So if you've heard growth mindset, that's something we firmly believe in too. Um, and a lot of times parents ask about, well, or what comes up, what if my instrument breaks? Bring it to me. Don't try to fix it yourself, please. Um, you can often go to the music store and they can help you there too, but nine times out of 10, I can tell you whether it's something I can fix or we need to send it out. Um, if it's out of tune for our instruments, at this stage, sixth graders are not tuning their own instruments. Seventh grade and eighth grade know a little bit about tuning. Um, generally, we don't ask that kids use the pegs too much. So be aware, you can try and tune with your knowledge, but also be careful because you can really mess up your instrument and break strings. Um, when, if a quarantine situation happens, my plan is to be teaching over Zoom while we have the live class so you can tune in on the Zoom and not miss too much of the class and I'll try and pay attention to you um, after class too and give you some support that way. Um, the last thing I would say is that uh, we do have private lesson teachers. If you want to take lessons with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, we can recommend you to people. People often ask about that. We've got a long list of people to recommend. Um, so that's the orchestra view of things. Um, Mr. Kanegi, is there some band things that you feel like that are similar or extra do you yeah, have? Yeah, so a lot of the things are going to be pretty similar here. We have in band, we have the added challenge of some PPE sort of issues. So we get to wear masks and bell covers and things. So that's something that students should be receiving if they haven't already, and we'll be using those at school. Thus far, we've been trying to have our work be outside, but we're going to be inside more and more as the weather changes this fall and winter. So students need to make sure they have those items with them when they come to school. Um, kind of on the vein of practicing similar sorts of expectations, music something that you get out of it what you put into it. So we're hoping that kids will spend some time at home. If they want to progress, if they want to get better, they need to invest some time in that. If you have a noise challenge at home with louder band instruments, we can sometimes get a mute 
sure if you have a practice trumpet in a, an apartment and you want to play a little more quietly, there are sometimes some mutes we can get to make the instrument easier to play at home. But also just know that, you know, music learning is a noisy, joyful sport. So keep that in mind. We can support you in lots of different ways. The other thing I'd say is that we are anticipating having a concert as well for advanced students. Uh, that'll be happening in January and then hopefully again at the end of the year. But when in doubt, look for information to come out via Skyward and email. So make sure your contact info is up to date there. And you'll see updates from us periodically. Mm -hmm. Same thing, orchestra. Email is the primary mode of con uh, contact. I've got a Remind started now, too, so you should have gotten that invite on Remind if you uh, think that way. Um, I think that's all we need to say. Uh, feel free to contact us. We're always happy to answer emails. Easiest way to get a hold of us. Um, and we're happy to meet with anybody anytime you need for your student success. Thanks. Have a great year. Bye.